I love my condo in Cebu, which came fully furnished with all appliances and utensils included. There's 24 hour security with guards on the main door. A restaurant and shop on the ground floor, which is open until 10 p.m. most days of the week. I see so many ridiculous posts on Facebook with foreigners and expats asking, how long can I stay in the Philippines on a budget of $2,500? How much do I need to budget to retire in the Philippines? Or what are my daily, weekly, monthly costs going to be? Good grief man, such stupid questions. There are so many variables that it really depends on your personal lifestyle and creature comforts. I believe wherever you live in the world, your biggest outgoing will be accommodation. If you want to spend $1,000, $1,500 or $2,000 per month, then do it. But do you need a high-rise fancy apartment with two bedrooms and a jacuzzi? Here in the Philippines, you, you can live like a local in a one-room boarding house with a bunk bed and shared bathroom for 1,500 pesos or $27 per month. Or you can live in a 22 or 27 square meter self-contained studio room in a condo in Cebu. In this video, I'm going to break down the costs of living on just over $500 per month and show that it's possible, as that is what I'm doing. If you've watched another of my videos entitled A Day in the Life of an Expat, you'd know that there's a lovely eco garden on the third floor where I come each morning with my coffee and book. On the 17th floor is the swimming pool, and on the 24th floor, another small outdoor terrace. There's a small gym with treadmill, bike, dumbbells and a universal machine. With regard to eating, are you going to eat tenderloin steak six times a day? Or can you survive on a couple of balut with rice? I could live far cheaper eating at Filipino restaurants twice a day where a portion of chicken adobo and rice is 50 pesos, but I prefer cooking myself at home. I rarely eat out, rarely visit bars or coffee shops. I'm outside the condo all the time, but do most of my eating and drinking at home. I don't feel like I'm missing anything. Not eating out in a restaurant or sitting at Bo's Coffee for a few hours every day watching the girls go around. So for the past year, my average monthly budget has been around £430. That's $520 per calendar month. You may think this sounds like I'm scrimping and missing out, but far from it. Let me break this down for you. As you can see, accommodation tops the list. It's far cheaper staying in one place and signing a contract for six months or a year. And living outside Cebu City in a smaller town will also be cheaper. If you're travelling around the Philippines, regularly changing hotels or Airbnbs, basic accommodation would be at least double the price of a regular condo. Don't miss out on quality broadcasting. Please like and subscribe to Big World Cinema. Thank you. Electricity cost basically covers the appliances, laptop, shower and lights. I don't use the aircon at all and infrequently use a fan. I just leave my windows and door open all the time and with the breeze it's plenty for me. Cost of food is the second highest expense. I eat twice a day and drink moderately at the weekend. Please bear in mind this list is for one person, although if you've got a Filipina living with you, you just need to add rice. Of course, on top of your $500 monthly budget, you'll need to factor in unexpected expenses. I cracked a tooth eating fried fish and needed a root canal. That costs $360, so I won't be eating that again in a hurry. My laptop battery expanded, so I needed a new one, which cost $50. My Motorola smartphone broke bought a Samsung replacement for 
The Canon camera I used for YouTube video stopped working. Repair was $118. So it is possible to live on a budget of around $500 per month, but just be aware to allow for any additional expenses throughout the year that you'll need to fork out for. I hope this gives you an idea of how much to budget whilst living in a city in the Philippines. Kindly let me know in the comments section below what your budget and living expenses are and where you're living, especially if you're staying in an Asian city. I have other videos on my channel showing sunrises and sunsets over Cebu Business Park if you're interested. If you enjoyed the video, please could you like and subscribe which would help me grow my channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.